hello welcome back again to another video so in today's video we're going to look at how to do masking of effects in Caden Live. so let's see how we can do that we have a video clip here let's place this video clip on the timeline and just trim a little bit in and then place this here and what we want to do now is just apply the effects only to this part of the flower or part of your video that you want to apply the effects too so in order to do that if you go to the alpha mast and king you can see we have several uh, mast effect here one is the alpha safe mast another one is the um, rectangular alpha mast and then the rotoscoping mast and you have the secondary color uh, area selection mast and you have the safe alpha mast for this example we're going to use the rotoscoping mast so you have two rotoscoping one is rotoscoping and one is rotoscoping mask so we want to use the rotoscoping mask so let's apply this to our video clip and what we want to do is to mask out this flower only so to do that let's um, start by clicking on here now we have a video on how to use the rotoscoping mask if you have not watched the video the link is up here on the right hand corner top there so you can click on it to watch how to do rotoscoping in Caden Life. So let's just um, mask this a little bit quickly. So I'm making it more a really little bit rough here, but you can place the um, handles here nicely in where you want to. Okay, so let's just mask out this part here. Okay, to join the two end, make sure to do a right click. And you can see that we just uh, simply mask the whole video out and we have this part of the a video that we want to apply the effects only to this part here now let's uh, minimize the rotoscoping mask here and the next thing is we want to change the color of this flower to a different color so in order to do that let's go to the um, color and image adjustment and then i want to use the cmyk adjustment so let's apply this to our video clip now let's bring the red all the way up here let's bring the magenta somewhere here and the neutrals here and so you can see we just change this to blue and the blacks I just bring the black up because if we don't do that you can see some part is a little bit red here so let's bring the black up okay now we can see that we have the sub edge cut around here so let's go back to the minimize this let's go back to the rotoscoping mask and in the petal width let's apply the petal width a little bit up here like 10 12 to make it uh, nicely um, blur the edge around like this okay so once we have that let's um, make it a little bit more contrast by applying the basic cap let's bring it here and uh, click somewhere in the line here and bring this handle a little bit down something like this and let's give the light a little bit uh, light to the middle of the flower so let's bring this one up like that and something like this that's all we need to do and the next thing is to go again to the alpha mask and king and you can see one of the effect is must apply so click that and simply apply it to your clip and you can see there we go we just apply the must apply and uh, we have only applied the effects to this only part now if you select the rotoscoping mask you uh, activate the rotoscoping mask again so in order to because this uh, is a video so it's have uh, the wind is blowing so we want to adjust the settings there again so we can just see if the big difference here we just click on this little x button here and adjust that something like this move it a little bit up and see okay, you can see the movement here just uh, bring this there like that i think that's all we need to do for this and uh, that's how we can apply the masking the effect inside only this part of the video so you can do this uh, can apply to different uh, areas of your videos anything that you want to apply your effects to okay so thank you again for watching and thank you to those who have subscribed and if you have not subscribed yet if you want to support us you can do that by subscribe to our channel and that will be a big help for us and thank you again for watching see you back again in another video